Hey Zachary, this is Brandon just sending over a short custom video I put together for your plumbing business. Um, talked to your receptionist this morning. She said you had a pretty eventful morning so far. Uh, hopefully things get better for you. But um, I'm just sending this over. I'm going to go over three things for you um, that are going to help bring more traffic to your website and ultimately more business to you. Uh, the three things I'm going to go over are website content and keywords. Second thing is going to be citations. And the last thing is going to be uh, backlinks with referring domains. So um, first thing we look at and what Google looks at is uh, the content on your website's homepage. Okay, they're looking for at least 1,500 words of content on here. So just adding some content on your main service uh, focus is going to do you a lot of good. Uh, but more importantly, what they're really looking for is the key words inside of that content. Um, best way I can describe this is put yourself in your potential customer shoes. What is, what is it that they're typing into that Google search bar? That's ultimately going to get Google to say, you know what, the best place to send that person for that search is this website all right so we want to capture those buyer intent keywords so if it's plumbing you know make sure we're we're you know plumbing oklahoma city is a great keyword right uh so the more content we have and then anything plumbing you know related you want to focus on you know capture those keyword phrases and always add in the service area you're looking to do business in okay and then any other services i would certainly just make a, a different page for those services like you have here uh, you know leak detection uh, sewer line replacement. These are all great keywords. Um, just make sure we're tagging in Oklahoma City behind each one or before each one. Um, and that's going to do you a lot of favors. Yeah, let's see. Links, that's not a picture. Second thing I look at is, uh, and I just did a search here of plumbing Oklahoma City. There's three ways to get on the front page or the first page of a keyword search. The first way, obviously, is to, and I think you know about it, is to pay for it, right? We can get in this Google guarantee. We can get into um, ads and things like that. But then the second way we can get on the front page is by being in what we call the map pack. Okay. Pretty simple to get in the map pack. First thing you're going to need is a Google business profile or a Google, uh, they used to call it a Google, my business profile, uh, create one of those. If you don't already have one, uh, it just shows trust with Google. They're going to verify that you're a legitimate business. Um, usually takes five to 10 days to get, uh, get the verification. Once you have that, what you're going to do is you're going to take the exact same information that's on your Google business profile. And what I mean by that is just your business name, address, and phone number. And you're going to want to get that into every directory in your service area. Okay. The Angie's List, Yellow Pages, White Pages, Home Advisor, Thumbtacks, BBBs, LinkedIn's, all social media profiles. Get that uh, business name, address, and phone number out there in as many places as possible. Every time you do that, you get a citation. And whoever has the most citations gets into the map pack, okay? Has nothing to do with anything but shouting from the rooftops and letting everybody know that you have a business. So go out there and get that accomplished. Uh, the third way to get on here is to be ranked organically. So you can be in the map pack and you can be ranked organically. Like you see that hall plumbing down here uh, ranked organically. They're also in the map pack on the top. So that's ideally what you want to do. You want to be ranked, you know, twice for every keyword phrase on this front page. So that's going to be a culmination of your website with keywords, uh, content, pictures being tagged correctly, meta tags, and then it comes down to backlinks and referring domains. And the way I look at that is I use a tool here called AREPS. Anybody can use this tool. There is a monthly fee to use it, but it's going to show me that the person's website inside and out and top to bottom. The first thing we're looking at is a backlink profile coming from referring domains. Okay, what the heck does this mean? Well, first of all, a backlink is any link you have out on the web that if somebody clicks on it, it's going to bring that person back to your website. So we need a good, healthy backlink profile. More importantly is we need to make sure those backlinks are out there on good, powerful referring domains. And what that means is we want to make sure the backlinks we have out there are coming from or placed on things that are relevant to your industry and your business and relevant to your customer needs. Google's going to crawl your backlinks. And if they're finding that you're just stuffing backlinks out there in every place possible just to get a nice profile and they have nothing to do with what your business is trying to accomplish, they're actually going to ding you. It's going to hurt you more than it's going to help you. Okay. So we want to make sure we work on that. Uh, organic keywords is showing me that you're getting picked up for 112 keywords. Uh, what a lot of people don't realize is if I go into this keyword profile and see what keywords exactly you're getting picked up for, you're going to see a lot of those are probably national keywords. They're not local. Um, and then some of the keywords you're getting picked up for are probably irrelevant to, you know, having people, you know, come to do business with you. Okay. And then ultimately, the last thing it shows me is how much traffic is coming to your website monthly. OK, so if I go back to this search that I did of uh, plumbing OKC, 
the top ranking business that was up here was this crazy plumber. So just so you can get an idea what uh, some of your competition's doing, what their profiles look like, you can see the amount of backlinks, the amount of keywords, uh, but ultimately how much traffic is coming into their website. Okay. I did a second one. Uh, I'm not, not sure if you're, uh, you know, HVAC repair. I know you did, uh, you did some plumbing, water heaters, things like that. Uh, I'm not sure if you dabbled in that at all. Uh, so once again, uh, if we just go do more content, more keywords, uh, just out of curiosity, if I go to save this picture. So this picture is saved uh, as about us. Okay, so you got it saved as what it's what it's above here. So every one of these pictures is an opportunity. So you got plumbing Oklahoma City. So that perf that's perfectly what you want to do. Uh, save every one of these pictures as a keyword phrase. So more opportunities to stuff those keywords in there. Um, every one of your pictures on your website can be done that way. So more content, more keywords. Go out there and create a Google business profile if you haven't already done so. Um, get in every directory so you can at least get on the map pack and then work on those backlinks. Uh, get them out there in relevant places and you're going to see your, your website start to rank organically a little bit better as well. Uh, so hopefully all these things uh, in culmination, you will be able to uh, enforce and start seeing some more traffic come to your website, ultimately more business at the end of the day. Um, I would appreciate if you would just reach out and let me know what you what your thoughts on the video were. Uh, love to hear any feedback, if it could be a little bit better, uh, or if you, if you didn't understand something, if I can make it more clear. But uh, in the meantime, you just take care.